A major snowstorm has dumped over a foot of snow across parts of the Midwest. Indiana got hit hard. High winds adding to the misery there. It's a lot better with the four-wheel drive, but it, yeah, it's definitely a, a doozy out there. And there's lots of snow in Little Rock, too. Folks there had the snowiest Christmas ever with nine inches. And it's making getting anywhere almost impossible. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ice is coating windshields, branches, and power lines. Thousands are still waiting for their electricity to come back on. We're going to make the best of it. We're trying to find some place with power where we can get a cup of coffee and have some hot cocoa. All of this is making for a post-Christmas travel nightmare. They're de-icing in Dallas as temperatures failed to break freezing. About a thousand passengers had to spend the night in the airport. I'm coming down with a little cold and I should have been at work today. You see it? This is home video of a twister near Jackson, Mississippi. Part of a band of storms that ripped through the south last night. 21 tornadoes, a record for Christmas Day. Look at that tornado. It's coming towards us. And in Mobile, Alabama, you can see the flashes as this tornado ripped apart transformers, leaving thousands without power. They've got a big cleanup ahead. And while no major injuries were reported, <laughs> it was a very scary night for a lot of people. It's the most horrible feeling in the world to watch it coming at you and there's nowhere to go. It was just terrifying, really terrifying. That was Ellen Sear, and this is Ellen Sear's SUV, the one that she rode out the tornado in as it was passing right overhead. If this tree had not locked down this SUV, Ellen may have very well been the first casualty from the historic Christmas Day outbreak. Tonight, from Boston down to D.C., winds could gust over 50 miles an hour, and flooding could be a problem along the East Coast. Not welcome news to folks in New Jersey, still reeling from Hurricane Sandy, and now stocking up for what's expected to be a big storm.